my folding collapsible shower is complete. So these are cheapo shower curtains from Home Depot. Some little neodymium magnets from Home Depot. All right. This is an Air Industries, A-I-R-E, uh, three foot by three foot PVC oil pan. It's got this, uh, let me see if I can show you. It's got this rigid, uh, this is like a hard plastic. It's got this rigid edge that goes all, all along it about this high. And uh, so, I duct taped one edge and I made these little S hooks out of some uh, bailing wire. And I used these soft anchor points um, on the roof so that I won't hit my head. So it's pretty easy to just hook it on there. Just like that. Well, not one hand. One hand. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a nice big shower space. These little magnets just put it on there pretty good. At least when the air's not blowing so hard. There we go. So I have a 10 gallon road shower. And I will um, I'll put the hose in either through this cracked door or my sliding door cracked. And uh, the drain vent is right there. That is a um, water heater drain pan fitting. Comes with a, wa a rubber washer. So I just cut the hole with scissors. And then I used a lighter to... Uh, Kind of clean up the phrase and then I made the hole just big enough that I could thread the fitting on and then that would um it would it fit right into the threads just perfectly and uh, I found that um putting the fan blowing in works better actually because I'm not gonna be taking a steaming hot shower and um that way it expands this whole thing so that it's not all up on you. So um, that's one thing I didn't think about that would be annoying. Um, I duct taped these edges down here just like that. I know it's kind of ghetto, but you know I've learned with these van builds not to take yourself too seriously on the first time because quality materials are expensive, usually. And uh, you know this is like 60 bucks. This is like six dollars. And uh, so this is like a prototype budget uh, version. But um, I've seen someone make it out of a stainless steel pan and a Cuban fiber cloth. And I guess the trick here is to get some good mounting points and make it real rigid so that it's taut. And then you could have the fan sucking in like if you had a real water heater. I'm thinking about putting a water heater right here. And then I'll have my, my water pump under here pressurizing it. I'll have like a water hose going up there or underneath. And uh, then I could have 20 gallons of like searing hot water. Um, and I could heat it with my generator. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I was going to tell you about this. Um, it's pretty straightforward, you know. I just duct tape these neodymium magnets here and there's those little s hooks and th this is a 550 paracord you can get it at home depot uh oh yeah this is a uh, washer dryer hose bent i mean a, a drain tube and it fits in there just perfectly and here let's see if i can get you some details on that drain pan fitting for a uh, water heater this is like a dryer hose or a washer hose vent it's it's right in the uh, plumbing fitting section with all the little brass fittings 
and it's like twelve dollars. Um, so yeah, usually the van is kind of tilted that way, so I have it kind of going that way. But I might have to rotate the whole thing so that it drains out the back doors, or maybe I'll have to drill a hole in the floor. But uh, I'm pretty stoked that I can take a shower inside without having to put up a bunch of tarps and blankets and shit on the rear doors and then worry about everyone like, you know, like, oh God, look at that weirdo showering on the side of the road. So it's nice to have some privacy.